Dr. Rob joins us to answer more of the viewers' questions all about health. Welcome back, Dr. It's Rob. Great to be here, as always. I love <laughs> answering these questions. And yes, we always learn so much when you're here. The viewers, well, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Teach, teach, and educate. And the viewers have really fantastic questions that awesome. they ask. And we have three fantastic questions again today. Let's dive in. What do we so got let's today? dive right into them. Chandra. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dr. Rob. Should I be taking a multivitamin on a daily basis? Very good question. Fantastic question. Thank you, Chandra, for the question. Absolutely. You should be taking a multivitamin every day because no matter how healthful we try to eat, many times it's just not possible to get all the nutrients from all the fruits and vegetables right. and the lean proteins that we're eating. So we need to supplement with a good multivitamin on a daily basis where we can get into trouble mm. is you can actually over supplement. So because there's different kinds of vitamins. Some vitamins are water soluble, mm -hmm. like the B vitamins, vitamin C and folate. Our bodies actually need those every day. So if you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, Chandra, you won't be getting enough of the B vitamins and you have to get those every day. So supplementing with extra B vitamins or vitamin C can be very advantageous towards your health. Now other vitamins, the fat soluble mm -hmm. vitamins like A, um, D, E, and K, you have to be very careful with those, Chandra, because it's actually easy to take too many of those. So being deficient in the fat-soluble vitamins and taking too many of the fat-soluble vi vitamins can actually lead to problems. There's that sweet spot in the middle. Right. And if you've ever looked on, on the back of the, of the vitamins, they always have like the RDA mm -hmm. or the upper limits of what you're supposed to take. That generally holds about true. There are some exceptions. Uh, when it comes to vitamin D, for example, the recommended daily allowance is somewhere around 800 uh, units. Not enough. Most doctors are recommending 2,000 international units. So on some of these vitamins, actually you need to take more than what's rec recommended. And with vitamin D, I have patients that take 50,000 international Jeez. units a week because they're actually deficient. Or just go out and get some sun, right? <laughs> if it's available, sun. Or you can D. drink 50 <laughs> glasses of milk and try to get your vitamin D that way. Right. So. But generally, is it easier just to take one multivitamin rather than going and getting a vit vitamin B, vitamin, because that's where you could... Yes, Possibly the easiest thing dose. to do is just take your multivitamin Why? recommended for your age group and right. whether you're a man or a woman. And, and that, that will take care of the vitamin issue for okay. sure. Okay, all right. Without a doubt. Well, let's move to the next one, see if we can't get them all done today. Uh, this one from Daniel. Dr. Rob, does testosterone cause prostate cancer? About 30 seconds for this, this one. This is, this is a great is a question, issue, a big one, to... but I'm going to flat out tell you no. And, and what I think Daniel's referring to is testosterone replacement. Mm -hmm. And no, testosterone does not cause prostate cancer. Very clear on that. And the data is very strong now as we move farther and farther into men's health mm -hmm. that testosterone replacement actually may prevent prostate cancer. So make sure wow. you follow up with your doctor, get your physical exams, get your prostate checked, and also make sure you get your testosterone levels checked. Because if you are deficient, replacing testosterone can help prevent prostate cancer. Very good Very know. different from what we used to know. Thank you so much, Dr. Rob. I wish we could get more viewers' questions in, but there is always time for next <laughs> week, so make sure you no. hit us up on Facebook with more of your questions. Thanks, Dr. Rob. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Well, you know, we have some fish cooking in the Lifestyles Kitchen, right? Very healthy. Sally, what's going on?